Did you know 70% of orthodontics questions in INICET examination are asked from biomechanics and diagnosis and treatment planning and what all sources and books you need to cover to ace those topics. Hi, I am Dr. Sahil Hira from Team Meritors. I was All India Rank 1 in INICET November 2021 and here I will be sharing you my preparation and revision strategy to be used in the final few months. Let's begin. So step one is to identify the high yield topics and questions. Now, if we see the syllabus of orthodontics, we have 11 chapters in that, starting from growth and development up to treatment planning. Now, out of this, all, all of those are not equally important. Some are more important, some are less important. So let's see which are the ones which are the most important for INICT. First, growth and development. This is a very important chapter, the chapter number one. Then chapter number four, diagnosis is important. After that, biomechanics, chapter number seven, followed by the appliances and treatment planning, that is chapters 9, 10 and 11. Now, for these high yield topics, you have to cover our entire Meritors app also. Along with this, we have a separate book for this, MCQs in Orthodontics by Dr. Jitendra Sharan. So, for only for these specific topics, you need to go through this book. I'll mention the topic numbers here, 1, 4, 7, 9, 10 and 11. Now for the rest of the topics, your Q bank and the tasks in the INICET power pack. These are sufficient for the rest of the chapters. And these, the power, the power pack as well as the Q bank, you have to do for all the 11 chapters. But for the six important chapters, you have to cover from the other textbook also, that is MCQs in Orthodontics by Jitendra Sharan. Step 2. Now in step 2, after you have covered the syllabus, all the chapters, you will go to the past year INICT orthodontics papers or questions. You can find this in our Meritors app also. And it, the recommendation is to solve at least past 10 years. So let's say if it is 2025 now, so from 2015 or 16, you have to solve the past year orthodontics questions. And you will have at least 200, 300 questions because every year 20 to 30 questions are asked from orthodontics alone. Next is step three. This is a very important step because in most of the INICET exams, there are always a few repeat questions from the past year AIMS papers. So in our INICET power pack, the tasks column, we have a set of special questions. So in this, we have first the chapter wise tasks. And after that, there are three, three separate tasks. First is the image based. And then we have a special set of questions special questions set one and set two. Now the advantage of doing these questions from that pack is this will be covering your recent articles and journals which are frequently asked in AIMS exam and that is the INICT and other than this, the previous year AIMS SR questions as we know the SR questions are a big chunk of the INICT question paper. Other than this the recent advances any recent advances in the field of dentistry in any of the subjects will be covered along in this special questions. So for the orthodontics, we have these three tasks in the power pack, which you must do before your INICET. The step four is practice and revision. Practice and revision are the two most important attributes during your any preparation, whether INICET or NEED. Now, when it comes to INICET specifically, at least three to four times you have to go through the tasks in the INICET power pack and the QBank. After that, through the mocks, you will learn time management. And the idea is to get used to the negative marking from now itself. So now when you are giving any mock exam or any you are solving any task of orthodontics, you should make a note that you will leave the questions which you think you will leave in the exam hall also. So that way you are preparing yourself for the real time exam simulation. What you will do there is what you are doing in practice. If you are attempting all questions in practice, there's a high chance that you might end up with lot of negative marking in the final exam. The step five, this is one of the most important steps and the most important role of this step is in inside the exam hall when you are writing the exam. The goal is to follow a balanced approach, neither over attempt and nor under attempt. Now, how to identify? This is one of the most frequently asked doubts by students that how to identify which question to leave, which question to attempt. So I have formulated here three types of scenarios. First scenario is 
you have no idea about either the question or the options in this case it is best that do not attempt the question otherwise it will only and only lead to negative marking the second scenario is where you have a vague idea about the question let's say you have heard the question or you have seen the question somewhere but you are confused among three or more options now once you are confused among three options or more than three that is either three or four options it is a very high risk to attempt this sort of a question better to not attempt only and only attempt this question if you feel it is a very easy question like let's say they have asked a very easy question which you have forgotten but you know that most of the aspirants will remember this so this question you can try to place a guess because if it is a very easy question and others have got it gotten it correct by not attempting this question you are basically you are saying that you have zero chance of getting that question correct which is correct for most of the other aspirants so the chances are you might lag behind just because of this question so if you want you can attempt if you think that no better not to take a risk then the best thing is to not attempt such type of question and the third scenario is where you do not have any idea about the question but you are able to rule out at least two options so for example they have asked which of the following materials is used for a particular type of procedure now you know that two options are not used at all in this in this type of procedure so but you do not know much about the procedure itself that is the question still you can place a guess using smart guessing or option elimination strategies which we have covered in the previous videos now let's recap the first step is to identify the high yield topics after that focus on the past year papers for INICET especially orthodontics and then do the special set of questions from the tasks followed by most important practice and revision and balanced approach especially in the exam hall or during the time of your mock exam so with this we come to the end of this video if you like the content do follow us on instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have not yet downloaded your the app then you can download our meritus app from the play store or the app store Thank you and have a nice day.